Starting up with Photoshop can be so confusing for an absolute beginner. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you the very basics you need to know in order to begin with your Photoshop journey. Okay, when you open up Photoshop in the very first time, nothing displays here. These items are displayed here because these are the items I've been working on. So when you open Photoshop for the very first time, what you want to do is you click on the file menu up here and then you click on new to create a new file which you want to work on that is a new project so i like working with centimeters there are other units of measurements here inches pixels which you can use but i like working with centimeters so i use 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters making it a square and the resolution is 300 this is all depending on the kind of image I'm working on or the kind of project sorry I'm working on okay so when the project opens now the first thing you want to do here is to be able to save that file now you note here that when we created the project we saved it at the beginning so we will not need to do that again so under this file menu you have options here to open up uh, maybe a picture you want to open up a Photoshop file which had already been created which you want to open up in Photoshop you can do that here by clicking on the open button and when you are done with your project you can also use um, the save as button to save your file in different formats Photoshop for example saves files with different formats now the number one format you want to master is the Photoshop format, the PSD file. This is the file format that saves your project in a form that is editable, meaning you can come back later and edit that project after you have saved it as a PSD file. And we have other file systems within Photoshop like the JPEG, the JPEG is a normal picture file which has already been compressed and exported. With this other file format, you cannot edit, um, like you cannot go back into the project and edit this file once it has already been saved. You can also save a file as a PNG file. If you want to save it, maybe a file without a background, it's advisable to use the PNG option. Because with the PNG option, you can save without a background. So those are the basic uh, file formats you want to know about in Photoshop. Then under the edit panel, there you can undo, redo, you can fit the effects you've applied already. You can spell check. You can do a lot of other things. These ones will be handled in our subsequent videos here. I just want you to have an overview of the Photoshop interface then you go now to the layers the layers panel that's where you create new layers you create new layers which you want to use since Photoshop works with layers if you want to create a layer this is where you come and do the creation of layers and also um, we have the select menu here you can do selections you can select everything found within your project you can you can select particular areas you can also do selections based on a particular subject like a particular subject within the image which you want to select you can select based on a focus area you can select based on a color range and then also we have filters filters are effects which you can apply on your project or on a particular image you're working on so there are different kinds of effects here we have the blur effects uh, distort noise pixel lead sharpen render we also have the camera raw filters here which you apply on raw images then also we have the view menu here you can zoom in zoom out fit to screen you can enable your rulers like these rulers you see here up here and by the side this way you can enable them here you can you can enable guides can enable your new guides you can draw up guides using this uh, panel and in the windows in the windows panel you can 
check on various workspaces essential default we have the 3d workspace the graphics and web workspace we have motion painting photography and you can reset the essentials workspace there are other panels that appear below which you can activate from here like the channels the character and style for instance when i click on character you see character appearing up this way yeah this is it so you can enable you can enable these various uh, windows from the from the window panel yeah so that is it that is basically how the interface of photoshop actually is so in subsequent videos we are going to be going into in-depth exploration of each and every panel you find on photoshop i hope you found this video useful please if you did click on the like button and subscribe to my channel so that you can follow up with the subsequent updates that i'll be bringing on my channel